You know who Max is? Nah, you got an ego, nigga. Nah, you got an ego, bro. You got an ego. <laughs> That's some shit you gonna say to me. Oh, Jay, you finna instant? Oh, no, you got an ego. Use any of you guys to be the mole. Like, this is gonna wait, be wait, so, wait, six people with autism versus one fake. Okay. So, six niggas got autism. Okay, okay. It's hard me, myself, like, it's like, I think I'm the mole, honestly. <laughs> Oh, oh fuck no, she she has it. She has it. She has it. She has it. She fucking has it. She got it. She has that shit. She has it. She has it, bro. You would fuck? No. No. I continue to beat my dick. Continue to beat my dick, nigga. <laughs> she might got it too. Wait, 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 wait. The niggas, the niggas, they, they acting normal. I think we just talk about our disabilities. I, I prefer disorder. D yes. Disorder, yeah. yeah. Um, I was diagnosed in middle school and then... I transitioned to a school for people on the spectrum. Once I graduated middle school and went to that school, I kind of really enjoyed where I was at and everything. This is really hard because there's like so many eyes on me already. It's All right, so I feel like the dude that probably doesn't have it is this dude right here. The dude, the the uh, the dude right here with the brown pants on. I feel like he doesn't have it. Just it's just taken a while to accept that I have it disorder there's people who i've met myself who say you're you have autism and my family would be like did you tell them you have an uh, do you, did you tell them you have a disability mm, no i don't think i need to but reality it Yo, really good, does Kate. help to know that i do have autism they first suspected me of being autistic when i was five. Oh my god i'm so sorry what i'm so sorry what i said about her oh my god i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i'm so sorry please don't cancel me bro I did not mean anything I said, bro. I thought this was jokes, bro. They actually have it. No, 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 no. I thought it was jokes. No, I thought they was just like joking, bro. I thought it was like joking. I thought it was joking. Like, of course, nigga, you can act like you have, you know what I'm saying? Nah, bro. I, t bro, I, I didn't mean to say that. Ma'am, ma'am. Amanda, I didn't mean to say what I said about you, bro. Please, like, forgive me. Like, don't cancel me, please. Please, please don't cancel me. But Fuck. They, Fuck, they, bro. They hesitated to diagnose me because I was too intelligent. I mean, that's a compliment right there, being too intelligent. I feel like in some ways it's a little bit of an insult. I was diagnosed at the age of two. I don't see it as a disorder or a disability because I don't see my autism as something. So, Curtis, really why do you want me to watch this? My life, because like I like who I am, I like the way I think, and I don't want to change a single thing about myself. Indeed. Honestly, like being here is like we have to. Oh, go ahead, Amanda. Sorry, I spoke in. I personally see autism as a disability. I have a master's in disability studies. The medical model of disability inherently says that autism and any other disability is within our own fault and that we are the cause of the disability but the social model of disability says that society is the cause of the disability so autism is a disability because society is not that nigga is thinking boy that nigga is thinking boy I'm trying to figure out what this nigga was thinking with fucking the crib. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what this nigga was thinking for. He left the damn crib. <laughs> Go up. No, what the fuck? No, 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 Why did they did they try to end my shit? I don't know, right now my internet, bro. Wait, refresh, refresh, bro. Right now my Wi-Fi, but I thought them niggas canceled me, bro. I thought them niggas canceled me! 
Bro, I thought them niggas canceled me, boy. Boy, I thought them niggas canceled my ass. I thought they got me up out of here, boy. I thought them niggas pat my motherfucking bags and said, go, nigga. All right, baby, let's continue. But why he, bro, why he got on two different blues? I hope he don't have autism. Please let him be the one that doesn't have it. Cause why he got on two different blues? Made for me that disability comes from without, not with it. I grew up autistic and deaf, and I grew up feeling like I was such an outcast, and, and you know, and I was the odd one out. Oh, hey, I just used the name of the... That was fun. I was diagnosed um, when, I, when I was four years old. Oh, my God, he has it. Uh, oh, you know, Darius, Darius, I'm so it. sorry. Darius, I'm so sorry, bro. I'm so sorry what I said about your outfit. I'm sorry I even made fun of you, my brother. I'm trying to figure out who... The one that doesn't have it, I'm just going to make fun of them. Process for me, you know, like basically I'm, going I'm up, sorry, you know, going, going to school and everything. Um, you know, know that people don't perceive me as, as this. He looked like Tay. Guy, so I figure... I figure if I'm gonna be this autistic person, you know, like might might as well be be the best autistic person uh, that I can be. You know, I always Preach. Yeah. <laughs> I mean I always Indeed. try my best to excel in school, you know, I always um tend to be like one of the smartest smartest kid in the school, you know, you know that the whole stereotype. I would consider myself a late bloomer. I was diagnosed at the age of twenty two. I went most of my life um always knowing that there was there's something different about me, but I couldn't put my finger on it. The reason why I only got diagnosed this year was because I recently moved to a large metropolitan area that has many resources. And so that was um, one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life because I have access to, to therapy and I was finally able to get an answer that I was always looking for. I really, really struggled to fit in. I really struggled to um, be able to come up with the right words to get other kids to want to talk to me. And so I- uh, She might not have it. Out. She might not have it. Uh, and that continued throughout my entire time in grade school. I remember first feeling what depression was when I was around six. So when I was in university, they make us do these psychological studies because I was studying psychology. And they have different things you can apply for. And I noticed one of them was um, they were studying autism in women specifically like people who are older oh she so doesn't I have it and that was how i got my diagnosis which was like huh my right, bro chat who y'all think don't got it bro who y'all think who y'all think don't got it bro bro one of these niggas don't got it bro man bro i feel like she don't got it bro this girl right here bro i feel like this girl right here she don't got it bro but right, chat, who fucking? You fucking? Y'all fucking? She looks good. She looks good. Bro, chat, I remember one time, bro, I seen, like, a couple. He had a girlfriend. Like, his girlfriend couldn't talk to him. Like, he had a deaf girlfriend. This, I always wondered this. How do they fuck? Like... Think about it, y'all. Like, okay, if your girlfriend is deaf, how do y'all fuck? Dude, like... Think, just think about it, bro. Just think about it. Your girlfriend is deaf. What you gonna do when you fucking throw signs up? I'm being so serious though, like, bro, what you gonna do, like, so she can, like, understand, like, what you saying? Let's say you talking to her during sex. She's not gonna know what you're saying, nigga. Thank you, just think about it, bro. No, bro, no, 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 no. No, no, no. See, niggas don't wanna answer that question, though, bro. Niggas, see, y'all niggas don't be thinking like that, bro. See, I be thinking about shit like that. Like, if I had a deaf girlfriend, how would I be able to communicate with her during sex? 
It's not dumb, bro. It's not. It's not dumb, bro. It's not a dumb question, bro. No, I'm asking Huncho. I'm asking Huncho. Yo, Huncho, Huncho. Yeah. But I got a question. Yeah. So let's say you have a girlfriend that's deaf, right? Yeah. And let's say shit, you know what I'm saying? Then you you decide to get your freak on, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You like, damn, I know my girlfriend deaf, but nigga, I'm, I'm trying to fuck. So. Mm-hmm. How, like, okay, let's say y'all fucking, right? How is she gonna, like, bruh? Like, how's she gonna, like, let's say you talking to her during sex, nigga. Like, how the fuck she gonna know what you saying? You gonna be throwing up signs and shit. Cause he's like, you gonna be into the sex. And he's like, nigga, yeah, nigga, nigga gonna fuck be... your game song, smack the back of their head, nigga, keep going, go crazy, nigga. I, like, I wonder, like, is she, was, is she gonna moan? Like, oh, what? I don't yeah, um, that was hard as hell, bro. Is that is that a oh, dumb question? Is that nah, they a, definitely do moan. They definitely do moan. I'm saying, is that a dumb question though? Nah, not really. Or like, ask them, you ask them how they gonna understand you. Yeah, bro, because you know, because you know, signs, the bro, reason the reason why I said that because bro, one time when I worked at Wendy's, bro, it was a man. He he came in there and his girlfriend was deaf. Like his girlfriend was deaf. And I just thought about that, like, what happens, like, when they fucking, just, like, like I'm, I'm being so serious, though. Because, bro, right now we're watching this uh, this autism video, bro. This nigga, you, this nigga told me to watch this shit, bro. So, bro, no, no, yeah, yeah I got to think about it, bro. How? Like, just think about it, bro. Hey, Mike, you, gonna, you, trying, you got Friday, right? Uh, nah, no, I got it. If you get it, we got three other people. Us two, and then we can. I tell Cooper get on. I, I might get that shit, but let me finish this video. Down my, I'm gonna talk to you. All right, all right, all right. Oh shit! All right, child. All right, child. Um, Specifically, like people who are older. So I applied, and that was how I got my diagnosis, which was like I was 21 then. My wife and like one of my friends are actually the only people that wife? know I've been diagnosed. So, surprise family or friends, anyone who's watching. It was like she an doesn't eye have it. it was kind of bittersweet because it was like she doesn't I'm have happy it. Now I have answers to all things that were going on before that I thought there was might have been something wrong with me there is nothing wrong with you okay you're yeah. amazing yes I indeed agree brother <laughs> i agree now <laughs> Should I go ahead yeah yeah i was diagnosed with all, when i was a child but i didn't know i was autistic because i mean as a two three four year old i mean i don't know how one even knows what it's supposed to be up with them so it, it's definitely hard to sp- like to speak in a group situation because i can never tell the rules of like how, how to, like when wait chat who do y'all up. think is not like just jumping in like right well, when you're kind of feeling like it uh, plus i've also blocked a lot of uh my childhood memories from trauma Tra- and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so i lived my whole life just wondering why i couldn't connect to people to understand like, understand each other yeah I, can i ask yeah. you guys a question about like um what, what are stimulation stimulants like do you guys like chew gum or do you guys like have anything that you guys do specifically to like keep you guys calm or keep you guys go ahead Amanda the color pink. it might be him okay. That's my favorite color. he might not have it bro who bro who do y'all think doesn't have it bro I'm kind of curious bro I'm trying to tell you I feel like this nigga doesn't have it it's a possibility she doesn't have it either autism one of these people doesn't have autism. I feel like it's him because he's asking hella questions. In the whole world, my whole room is pink at home. My bed is pink, my bed spread is pink, my pillows are pink, and my rug is pink, and my carpet is pink. I even have a framed pink picture of mine. And most of my clothes are pink. I love pink. It's the best color in the whole world. Okay, okay. I've I never love, heard I love blue, too. Indeed. I like blue, too, but pink is better. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I know he like blue. How do you guys feel about that? <laughs> I know he like blue. Honestly, I don't like that. I didn't really all. think about it too much. I, I don't think I think about it. I, that Autism is too much of a. Spe-
that. I know he like so blue. people's watches and have so many different experiences. <laughs> I can't choose any of you guys to be the mole. Bro, how you haven't laughed or smiled once? Because, bro, the reason why I say that, bro, because it's like I kind of like don't look at no, 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 no. No, no, the reason, the reason why I don't like really like laugh at shit like this. I mean, bro, if I laugh at some shit like this, it's not on purpose, bro. It might just be an accident, bro. You know what I'm saying? But the reason why is because, like, nigga, when well, my. No, 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 no. The reason why is because. No, 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 bro. No, no. Like, real shit, real shit. Like, this is something I never told y'all, though. Like, that's some real shit. Like, my sister, my sister, she, she wasn't born with autism. Nothing like that. But she was born with something, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it's like. The way people look at her, they look at her weird. Like, niggas was like real life scared of my sister, bro. I don't want to go into detail, but it's like, niggas was real life scared of my sister, bro. Like, out of all humans, bro, that you probably didn't see, my sister was like a human that you probably never seen before. Like, never. So it's like, I don't look at, I don't look at stuff like this and just like laugh because like this shit real, you know what I'm saying? Cause you got to think about what if it, what if it was like, nigga, yo dad, what if it was like yo dad or somebody like that that had this shit, you know what I'm saying? You sound stupid, bro, I don't sound stupid, it's just I'm not going fully into details, bro. Unless y'all really want me to, bro. If y'all want me to go fully into detail, I can. But if not, yeah, I'm not going to go into detail, bro. You think we'd really be scared? No, nigga, I swear to Nigga, I'm not trolling. When I tell y'all shit, I'm not trolling. Like, niggas was real like scared of my sister. It wasn't because of her face or anything. Like, that's why I said, do y'all want me to go into detail, nigga? I can go into the details. Uh, fuck. This is gonna be like, the hardest thing. Even me, thing. myself, like, it's like, I think I'm the mole, honestly. Like, <laughs> I know, they were like, try to find the mole. We're like, maybe there's none. There's no mole. <laughs> just go on. Look, even the person who's neurotypical might just be an un undiagnosed autistic. Yeah. Yeah. You never know that. You never know about that. I mean, like, damn, all this relates. Wait a second. Huh. The mole might not be neurotypical. Just because someone doesn't have autism doesn't mean the mole could have, like, ADHD or OCD. Yeah. And, it's not, it's not and could be. I mean, if you want shit, you, I don't care. What well, Curtis? Well, what Curtis, bro? Oh, just some nice nigga weird. All right, so I, I'll tell y'all, bro. All right, so basically, bro, my sister was born with something called, like, it started with an L. It start, it's like limp, like lymphedema or some, some shit like that, bro. I, I don't know how to pronounce it for real, for real, but it started with an L, bro. And so basically, bro, what it is, like basically what she was born with. So my sister, she was born with one, one small, one small leg. But her, her leg wasn't like super skinny. It wasn't like super skinny. She had one small leg. And then she had one big leg. So, like, her small leg, like, her foot, like, like, hold on, bro. I 
can't find a picture, bro. So, all right. So basically, um, yeah, I can't find no picture. I was, I was gonna actually like show y'all, but um, all the pictures that I see is like, it's not her full body. It's just like face and shit. Um, so basically, like, bro, she was born with like one small leg. And like she, bruh, my sister, she can't wear like regular shoes like us. Like she can't wear regular shoes. She, she had to wear like certain shoes because of how her feet was made. And that's when she had one. She had one small leg, and she had one, and she had one big leg. And the only reason why I said like niggas, niggas would like be scared of her because nigga like her legs wasn't normal. Her feet wasn't normal, like a, like a nigga like us. You know what I'm saying? That's why I said, oh, niggas are scared of her type shit. Like, little kids will probably see her and they'll probably, like, cry or some shit. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, she could have she could have really been a problem, though. You know what I'm saying? She really could have been a problem, like. You know what I'm saying? She could have gotten all scared. Hella niggas. But it's like me. Me, I got used to it, okay? You know what I'm saying? I live with it, but other niggas probably would have looked at it like, Different, like that ain't normal type shit. You know what I'm saying? Be but if I if I get a picture, though, I I show you what I'm talking about. As well, my kid has a genetic condition that um is not autism, but does manifest behaviorally and neurologically in in many ways that are similar to autism. So when um when people interact with my kid, they often see an autistic child, but my kid doesn't isn't autistic. Does autism run in um, any of your guys' family? I realized I was autistic because my little uh, half brother, he's like he's five years old. So I guess he's eight, seven now. Whoops, I don't know his age. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I, I see him. I'm like, huh? I wasn't I like that when I was a kid? My mom was like, yeah, yeah, because we thought about? you thought you're autistic. When you have a little leg, and you and your girl have the same birthday. Whoa, what the fuck are you doing? No, it wasn't like this. No, it wasn't like this. Both of her feet touched the ground. Both of her feet, both of her feet touched the ground, bro. That's the thing. But like, how his shoes is, how his shoes is, she couldn't wear shoes, nigga. She couldn't. She she wasn't gonna be able to wear these shits. Cause her how her feet was, bro. Cause how her feet was. Her feet wasn't like normal humans, nigga. Like she didn't have normal feet. Like he still has normal feet, bro. He still has normal feet. Her feet. Her shoes are like like a it was like a fucking circle or something. Like, I, I forgot. I forgot how it was. That shit a long time ago. But she couldn't wear normal shoes at all, bro. At all. At all. Can you stop farting? <laughs> this nigga. This guy was like, what? I just <laughs> found nigga. out that my, uh, that my youngest nephew had, was just briefly diagnosed with autism. You said a circle? I forgot yeah, how they look, but y'all. Bro, my, bro it's, been since, it's been like, bro. It's been like almost. Almost seven years since I didn't probably seen how her shoe looked like. I can't, I don't exactly remember how this shoe looked, bro. I just know the colors. And then she had a white pair and she had a black pair. That's all I remember. Uncle who, who already experienced some um, everything that he's going to experience. And I can end up being, and I, and I can be a mentor towards him. Yeah, my dad is an undiagnosed. I don't know if it was a circle, Sorry, though. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> go, go, go ahead. Do you ever, like, wake up and feel like you're not autistic and, like, or like you have a disability, you're like, this is just me. Like, yes, you don't have a it's called masking. I think I could be, be seen as neurotypical passing sometimes because I try to hide as much symptoms as possible because I was trained to do so at a very early age. People that don't have um, experience with others who have autism, uh, they expect us to stand out. And that's not always the case. You know, I, I think I, about I, that I, chat, I, like, like 
human. I think you can blame that partly on you know the media how how they portray yeah. us. We don't really have good representation. Like, of like us. No, like we don't. <laughs> what that movie with Dustin Hoffman? No, Rain, Rain Man. But no, 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 bro. This guy reminds me of somebody though, chat. This nigga remind me of somebody, bro. Look, 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 look. Oh my god. That's what you remind me of. So, look, 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 it used to be this one guy that used to come to Wendy's, bro. Look, 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 look. No, he remind me of somebody, bro. That's why I kept looking at him kind of. You know what I'm saying? He remind me of this dude, bro, that used to come to Wendy's. It's this one man. He used to come to Wendy's, bro. He used to always come there smiling and shit and humming songs and shit. Like, he reminded me of, reminded me of Borny, nigga. You know that big purple Borny nigga? He reminded me of that nigga. He come, he always coming at me smiling and humming and fucking songs. I, I used to like. He was a cool nigga. He a cool nigga, but I think he has autism, bro. Like I don't know. He remind me of Borny, bro. I swear to God, bro. I swear to God, like bro, nigga remind me of Borny. I don't know why. I don't know why. Nigga just used to come there. As soon as he sees that big ass smile, big ass smile. He probably humming. And like, he just was like happy as fuck. He just was happy as hell. Like, you had never seen that nigga sad, literally. You're coming a bitch, big ass mouth. Big ass mouth on his face, nigga. The biggest mouth, nigga. He just remind me of Borny. I don't know. He just, I don't know. Like, bro. I forgot his name. I think his name was Charlie. I forgot his name, bro. Bro, why is Curtis not typing, bro? I feel like this dude is literally laughing at the conversation, bro. Curtis is tight, nigga, bro. You can't, bro. You can't, bro. Like, bro, he just like, bro. Serious shit, he's laughing, bro. I'm telling you, bro. This nigga is probably laughing right now, bro. No, 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 I remember that shit. I was like, bro, can this nigga, bro, he, he reminded me of somebody. I'm talking about that nigga reminded me of somebody. I was trying to figure out who the fuck it was. He reminded me of that dude, bro. Nah, Curtis, bro, you, I know what you're doing, bro. Don't think I don't know what you're doing. You, you laughing and shit. That nigga laughing and shit at these people and shit. You, you a fucked up individual, nigga. You know that, right? You know you're a fucked up individual, right? Laughing at these people and shit, bro. I can't tell you you're going to hell because I don't know where you're going to go, bro. To be honest, I don't know where you're going to go. You're not going to know where you're going to go until, nigga, until, like, bro, chat. No, 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 look, let's be honest, though. Nah, he's not. No, he's not, bro. No, bro. He's not laughing at Amanda, bro. She's barely talking, bro. Bro. Listen. Let's be real, though. We don't know where we going, chat. When we die, like, we don't know where we going. Think about it, because... Why? Think about it, bro. Why would... If you're going... If you're going to hell... Why would, like, prime example, these rappers, bro. These rappers didn't did, they didn't kill niggas, everything. So why would God give them all this money, all this fame and shit, bro? If they out here killing niggas. So it's like, they out, like, they out here killing niggas, bro. Literally. They out here killing niggas. And, and nigga, and nigga, they millionaires. Nigga, they having racks. Nigga, they living their best life. But this nigga's a killer. And I got, I got this shit from DJ Ghost, though. Like, bro, you don't know where you're going, bro. You just got to see when you got down, bro. You don't know where you're going, bro. You don't know where the fuck you're going. I don't know where you going, so bro. Yeah, you know, yeah, where like, 
Where you know you, 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 having, you being on the spectrum all made me you you're good at gambling. I wish I was good at gambling or something. None of them have the same experiences that I do. So there's no way to have pinpointed. Oh, this person. Can niggas be like, oh, oh, you said a bad word. You're going to hell. Nigga, you don't know where I'm going, nigga. On the count of three, will the mole please raise their hand? One, two, three. Oh. So she not artistic, bruh. She doesn't have autism. She was giving me the kind of vibe that she did. I ain't gonna lie. It was between Amanda, her, and that other dude. Who could have seen that coming? I totally didn't see that coming. I was shook. I, I, I was like, nah, like, no, it cannot be her. It can't, it can't be her. I never would have guessed. I actually didn't lie about anything. I just um, flipped out autism with FASD. And it stands for Fetal Alcohol Spectrum Disorder. I was exposed to alcohol when I was inside my mom in the womb for the first five months. And um, you can kind of think of FAS. D as a spectrum, just like um, ASD. I know she's an art teacher or some shit. She's an art teacher. Between autism and many other neurological disabilities. FASD is never, never talked about. I've never met a single person who shares that experience. She's an art teacher. What differences do you see between people with autism versus... I actually see a ton of similarities. And I, I wouldn't want to, um, you know, discredit anybody else's experience. But autism does run in my family very heavily. My dad has autism. I have a sister that has autism. And I have quite a few cousins who have autism. And I also have quite a few friends who have autism. Damn, we're not your first. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> the autism community accepts you. Yeah, I love you guys. Too. Getting a diagnosis can be a whirlwind of emotions. As long as you stay true to yourself, I promise you everything's gonna end up okay. She know how to put that shit on though. Finds us. At each leap, what we have is a whole spectrum. She she know how to put that shit on though. From a diagnosis. This wasn't a bad video, chat. So Curtis, what was the point of you sending me this video, bro? What was what was the point of you sending me this video? I just want, I just want to know, bro. I just want to know what was your point of sending me this video? I wanted you to connect with your type of people. Okay. Okay. Okay.